And so some of the issues that this country is facing, some of the hot button issues right now in the United States is immigration, the border. It's certainly a political issue, has legal consequences, security. We certainly want to be open to people that need to come in to escape persecution. But we want to do it. We want the right people to come in and be vetted and to not have criminals come into our country to cause problems. And certainly there's a cost associated with immigration and where we're going to house and feed and, and send the uh, folks that are coming into our country. It's definitely a humanitarian effort. And so we'll just show you how biblically how Jesus was the ultimate immigrant. The bottom line, folks, it deals with the human condition. And are we going to allow people to come into our country and, and embrace them, yet do it in a safe way for both the immigrant and for the people living in, the, in America? And the Bible's full of stories of immigrants, dreamers, and refugees, from Genesis all the way to Revelation, right? God told Abraham to pack up and move to Canaan. Jacob and his 11 sons and their families immigrated to Egypt as foreigners, and they lived there, as, there for over 400 years. And that was the escape of the famine. And so immigration is not a new topic. It's a hot button topic now just because of where we are in the world. But God understands displaced people, right? And out of old, the Old Testament in Leviticus 19.34, God instructs Israel on how to treat aliens. He says, treat them justly and the same love for them as yourself. And we've talked about that. Love God. Above all, love each other as God has loved us. Help each other on the path. That was the sacred path slide that we showed earlier. For you too were once aliens in the land of Egypt. So God says, hey, don't have a short memory. And so you were also an immigrant at one point. And so how were you treated? 